Welcome to Indie Resources 36 video on how to make your browser MMO. This is Halls of Valhalla. Kind of ended abruptly last time with You Are Dead. Um, mainly that's because of an error we had, and actually it wasn't really even an error. What it was is whenever we, um, whenever we posted originally and had those those errors, uh, that just left our variable at zero for our um, total health, and it just made us zero. So all we got to do is really, if we just refresh refresh the index. Um, that run cron should go ahead and after 36 seconds of refresh it should probably go ahead and load now I'm just gonna kinda look at it and double check so we have our index it's gonna run the cron um, let's look at when our player time is let me go ahead and clear this out where I uploaded that video and clear that out um, 461 so, just trying to gauge 30 seconds and you see my hit points is still zero and actually it's not even playing that because the hit points is zero. So that's one thing to think about is where it says you are dead in index, um, you are dead. If you notice it stops everything right up here where it's saying you are dead, um, which means it never actually runs the cron. No, actually it does. It runs a cron first, so it should actually still play no matter what. So let's let's go back and hit refresh. And there you go. It worked. So you notice we waited 30 seconds, and now I have 10 hit points back. And if we wait and, and if we go into the database and we refresh, you'll notice that the time has reset. And if we wait another 30 seconds, we'll have even more hit points. It'll give us another 10. Now, I know you guys are thinking, well, what happens if somebody's logged out for a day? Are they only going to get 10 hit points back, even though that it's been how many 30 seconds or however you guys are going to, you know, set your time? Well, that's where we need to make our next change at. And first, I just want to test this again. I'm assuming it's been about 30 seconds. Yeah, so my hit points just went up again. <clears throat> so, next thing we need to do is we need to actually divide. Um, how many? We need to find out how many 30-second intervals went by. So, <clears throat> for inside of here, we want to do is time passed greater than the hit points time. So, if it is, then how many intervals actually is it? So, we would want to take um, let's just call them intervals equals. Um, then we're going to do time passed divided by our HP time. And that will give us total times, in other words, it'll give us a, a roundabout figure about how many intervals actually went by. So then the next thing you want to do is you want to actually multiply the hit points by um, and really I tell you what instead of doing that let's do this let's do intervals equals integer intervals I believe that's how it works and that what that'll do is that'll cut off all the zeros it'll it'll um, round down for us pretty sure that's how that works but let's double check it it's been a while since I've actually used that function let's echo intervals and it may give us a bad because we haven't been over 30 so well now we have been over 30 seconds so let's just see what happens three so yeah it took me about a minute and a half so that uh, to do that code right there and if we refresh it again you'll see it's it's down to nothing it's zero it never even actually played because there was only 30 seconds but if we wait just a couple more seconds a one should pop up after we get through 30 seconds so that way we just do three times the the interval or we do the interval which will be three times the amount of hit points gained which would be 30 hit points for waiting and I may have skipped through that way too fast I may have already skipped it there it is there's our one if you refresh again it's gone so I'm up to full hit points so all we gotta do now is do total health equals intervals times our healed health 
and that'll give us our total and then the function not really function but the code we we um, ran down here will make sure that we don't go over it'll help cap it out so that should take care of it and I'm just going to here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go in here and edit the database and I'm gonna put my hit points at one my max HP is 50 so let's do let's change this to where it's been 113 seconds go yours of course is going to be different because you're doing things at a different time but so now when I refresh it should it should actually this of course will technically drop back to one but then it'll pop back up three times three to four times worth um, okay there's my one hit point and it looks like it only went up ten so let's let's see what happened there um, oh, my bad I gotta go here let's see what happened my hit points is 11 so for some reason it didn't actually multiply it I'm not sure why so let's just change this to 084 go let's refresh still only going up once let's see what I did wrong there's our total intervals total health equals intervals times healed health here's a here's a real good way of really debugging just let's just echo out intervals healed health oh that's why that's why I see what I did wrong if you notice I have total health here I, I actually need to change this I need to change this to um, we'll call it healed health what we'll do is we'll just do we'll take We'll take intervals times healed health equals the new healed health, and that'll do it. What it was doing is it was only doing the healed health, no matter what I was doing here. So, a little troubleshooting, we figured it out. Now when I do it, let's go ahead and fresh just to break even here and start over. Um, you're going to see where, let's change this time to, let's change it to 300, 200 seconds. That ought to heal us all the way back up. I'm going to put us, well, maybe not if I put us at two hit points. But it still should give us at least half health. So if we refresh, there's our two, and then when we refresh again, it healed us all the way up. Um, so it's working. And basically, depending on how long you're logged out, and of course you're not going to have your set at 30 seconds. You're going to have set at, let's say, hour, two hours. So if they're gone for a whole day, that's 24 hours worth of healing. They're going to get 24 times that to up to their max. I um, mean, you can do the same with spell points. And the reason why I did this script the way I did is so you guys can come in here and you can change, you can edit it however you want you can actually run a couple of these type of scripts like one f if you want different variables um, I don't I don't know if I'd recommend a couple different types I think I would put some ifs in there like if we wanted to do um, well let's just go ahead and do it let's say um, spell point time SP time we want it to be every 10 seconds and then we're gonna do spell healed we'll just call it just to make it easy um, we're gonna make it 10 this you're gonna have to do a little differently um, I'm gonna think about how to do this because this may take this may require a second uh, integer in the database well what we could do um, if cron time is less than one that says oh if time passed equals time. so in other words you would just have to run a secondary check but if you reset it you're going to run into a problem what I would do is do this I would copy all that I call it spell time SP time and then you can kind of do the same thing here the only thing that you're going to run into is your um, is your it's going to reset your cron time and so your healed is never going to pop up what you can do in, in, in instead of that is make a another another um, let me go to it another variable here cron time 2 and you can use that cron time 2 to actually reset it and they'll kinda stay together and they'll use both of them there's probably a better way of doing that I'm just not thinking about it at the moment without using the database it's gonna be kind of kind of tricky um, 
Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I don't know if I trust any other way. I'll, I'll I'll think on it. Maybe make another video on how to do this a little easier to where you can rely on just one um, one field. But for now, if you want if you want things on different times, which these two I wouldn't put on different times anyway. But let's say you have several times, several scripts that you want to run. You're going to want to put a field in there for each one and have that time set. Um, for each one and if I come up with a, a better way of doing it or somebody does just post them on the forums and maybe we'll make a video out of that or whatever but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out for now and just leave um, and you know uh, as far as just adding spell points to this you can just add it all right here because it's basically running off the same thing and then you just make it one simple database update instead of that but this script will make it really easy for you guys to make your own crons um, run and it, it, like I said, the only the only thing you're going to run into if you don't use your index page, you know, let's say you have a a battle page that the players spend most of their time, you might want to put that run cron in the battle page. It doesn't matter if you have it on four different pages; it's not going to update four different times. It's going to be checking the same script no matter where you're at, so it's not going to matter. But um, anyway, that's an easy way to do crons. I'm going to work on a uh, admin panel for you guys next.